back to another Linux Gamecast weekly show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week, Valve's Proton transforms in kind of a witching sort of way, and I got that Google Stream beta thingy. Stick around. i will tell you about it. Claire releases some UHD ninjas. You can't see them, though, so they could be lying. And can you unlock the hidden or the potential <laughs> hidden within Godot? Well, good, because there's a game jam coming up. Did you ever think Amnesia was far too leisurely a stroll down an old castle? Well, <laughs> Frictional would like a word with you. And the Unreal Engine gets an update. Now you too can have that Windows experience by having a crash dialogue pop-up just there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Old Man Vin, joined by my fellow talentless hacks, uh, one Jordan Sfang and Pedro Mateus. Look at him, Hello. brilliant. And you at home. <laughs> Check him out. Oh, helping us form. Look at Mike nailing it. Cocaine Voltron. Before we get started, we do like to see what's going on in each other's life organs. Um, I, I have been playing Assassin's Creed, man. This thing. I was like, oh, look, that's game. I got in. It was immediately, I was a little little sad, though. It was like, oh, I got in. It's special. And Strider's like, I'm in. I'm like, oh, man, it's not special anymore. <laughs> what's up, Jordan? Yeah, well, um, I've been waiting for it for like two weeks now. This fucker finally showed up. The ThinkPad A485. Been fucking around with it. Uh, getting Linux installed on it was relatively painless, but there's still some issues that need to get sorted out. Um, these would be some compa hardware compatibility <laughs> stuff. But, hey, it turns on reliably, Pedro, so fuck you. <laughs> Look, I have reached the conclusion that Fedora 29 actually lets the... Uh... Ryzen APUs boot properly because they did the Steam box now runs properly with the Fedora yeah. 29 beta kernel. <laughs> yeah, the, the the one the one problem with that laptop is um that the BIOS is a little busted. Lenovo screwed the pooch on that. Supposedly there's an update coming in later in the month, so we'll see. Also, yeah, I've I got no uh, I I don't have a job no more, so I'm gonna have lots of time to hack on that laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, over here, uh, really not much happened this week. Uh, I tried to get Fallout 4 wor uh, working uh, earlier today. It's downloaded like 31 gigs from Steam, and it's like, oh, just a black window. So, yeah, no, something is off from the uh, reports that people have been putting to the um, Proton SPCR Netlify website, uh, because it doesn't work on my end. I need to figure that one out. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Seems legit. Well, what's 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 this looming over the horizon? Some sort of black obelisk coming up from the earth. It makes me want to smash monkeys. It's the Steam Linux update. Of the week. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, uh, there's a new Steam beta client update. Um, from October 10th. Apparently, there was aggression causing a black rectangle in place of update notes for some users when Steam is updated. And we get this lovely bit of confusing uh, nonsense. <laughs> Note that this fix will work for the next update following this one, but users may see the black rectangle when receiving this one. Needless to, to say, that, I my have just the one question. So is it fixed or not? <laughs> Listen, I, I'm I'm just concerned that fucking aliens are setting up, like, shit on the moons of Jupiter, and some robot's gonna go insane and try to suffocate me because of, like, some obelisk. I don't know. Listen, man, I saw that this has been a real issue. Okay, not a real issue. I'm in the beat update. I'm just gonna take whatever I'm gonna get. But for probably the last three or four weeks, it was like, here's the update. And I was like, ha ha, surprise update. Um, I did get an update yesterday, and... It, it's there. It's sorted. All right. Okay. <laughs> no, no, Sweet. that wording is not clear. <laughs> it, 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 it is not. They, they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Hey, man, what type of wording <laughs> do, do you need? I mean, when you get the new update, it actually has words in it instead of... If, if they just left, like, the first sentence, that'd be fine. <laughs> I, 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 but I then don't know. They, I'm not... I'm... <laughs> Pedro, I'm not sure you're one to be critiquing people's sentence structure. Anyways, there's a new version <laughs> Look, of Proton. I never claimed I wasn't a hypocrite, so... Available. 3.16. It's a thing, man. There's a bunch of new things in this, and admittedly, I was like, ooh, ooh, it's new. What do I care about? Does it run Shadow Warrior 2 any better? Spoilers. It's a little bit better, but not that great. You go to that hub, it still eats shit. Um, 
But what this does bring in a the Vulcan 1.188 spec update, including VK transform feedback extension. So it can finally support stream output. And that's like a big thing. But mm -hmm. in order to use this, at least on the NVIDIA side, uh, you're going to need 396.54.09 just released today. Uh, but I do, it, it will reportedly everyone's saying it's a glitch free witcher experiences like strider didn't see this in the show notes and he posted like three stories mm -hmm. in the wrong place so i got to close that bug and go i oh, will not fix but speaking of that it has also uh been brought into lutris um it has uh the, the other thing that comes with the uh proton 316 beta proton so someone needs to make like a john 316 reference to that i don't i don't know i don't d uh, or, uh, listen man Am, am I alone right here? Because the, for whatever reason, my brain's like 316 is less than 3.7. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, 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 that's the problem with semantic versioning, but you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, anyways. Yeah. No, uh, they also I'm have the actually... uh, DirectX, they also have the DirectX uh, 10 mode uh, for uh, DXVK now enabled by default. So for games on Steam that are using uh, DirectX 10, it's going to be funneled directly through v, uh, VXDK, DXVK, THX, VK9000. <laughs> now in Doble Surround. Yes. The audience is listening. I'm looking forward to just having Proton being based off of something that's not, you know, Wine 3.7 that came out several months ago. And uh, with version 316, the big one is everything that uses Uplay now works. Like your South Parks and your Assassin's Creeds and just about everything else that Ubisoft released over the past however many years. Uh, yeah. How many years ago did you gift me a South Park? Uh, like two or something. What, what, like the year the year it came out. Have but, not so, redeemed it. Uh, I, I mean, it's, it's waiting for you. It's I know, baby. You, baby. I know. Uh, but this, this, is, this is ultimately where it gets interesting, though, because this is like the first major version change in Proton. So the mm -hmm. question becomes... Will everything that did work in Wild West mode keep working? Also, in before, I ran Proton Tricks and did all this shit. Now everything's broken. Steam Play sucks. Proton's the worst. Proton Tricks won't uh, screw up everything. It'll just screw up that one game's prefix. That's it one it, of the advantages. It, 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 mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. This is this is in before all of those comments. <laughs> hey, man. Listen, that person runs Arch. They know what they're doing. <laughs> okay, I won't have any of that. Uh, let's get into some game updates. Yes. Evolution. Evolution 2.0. It's out. It's the thing. Put it in your face. Uh, this it, is gonna... it, it, evolvation? Evolvation. Yes. Jesus Evolvers Christ. Words, man. E e e Evolvas. Evolvas, man. Here, here, here's the reason I wanted to bring this up. Uh, like, oh, okay, that's the thing. I want to go check it out. Because if we scroll down... Uh, Wait, did they fix it? Yay, they finally fixed it, Pedro. They fixed it. They fixed it? Oh, yeah, they got rid of the Linux uh, icon and the uh, system requirements, yeah. Because that uh, was there oh, at first. <laughs> that was there, and you could download it. Because it said, hey, you, you can just play this, and you download it. And um, mm -hmm. it's like, hey, this is running with Proton. I was like, what the hell? Go over to the forums, go check it out. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, we have that listed up there because in the future we plan on making a Linux version. It's like, yeah, that's that, not how that works. No, Pedro, that's exactly how it works. But, <laughs> you know, then again, this is the same company that it's a, it's a group of two people. So I'm not going to bust their balls too hard. But they like mass banned a bunch of keys and like, oh, well, oops. Um, so they made the game free. <laughs> OK, all right. It has that going for it. <laughs> So maybe go grab a copy. Uh, you can play it with Proton. I mean, it does load mm -hmm. and it does work. And they said they're going to release a Linux version later on down the road. And it's yeah, got online I, multiplayer. Uh, yeah, when I saw the ooh, you posted it on uh, on Discord, it's like, oh, uh, that looks a lot like multiplayer Everspace. And then I started reading it, the stuff. It's like, it isn't multiplayer Everspace, but they're, it looks neat, I guess. <laughs> It's it's like it's it's sort of like um ah oh, there 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 was one game that looked a lot like this and I'm completely spacing on the name but I guess it's more of like an arena shooter that has like various classes that are ships mm -hmm. yeah now I have the real question though I it's telling me to sign in if I want to add this game to my wish list can you add a free game to your wish list yes neat I'm gonna if be you doing want that. the if 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 you want the music pack all right hard mode. 
All right, so uh, Amnesia. You probably know it as better than any laxative currently out there on the market because Amnesia The Dark Descent was a very good horror game and it was already pretty hard and nerve-wracking. Well, Frictional decided, no, it's not hard or nerve-wracking enough. So now, yeah, there is no danger music, so no Kenny Loggins shouting in your ears at any point, not even when the monsters spot you. Motherfucker, uh, I would it, pay for it, that. It, yeah, it, I was going to say, like, <laughs> is there a Steam Workshop thing for that? Because that would be amazing, right? <laughs> Lana, you're just, you're, you're creating pre with her. Lana, Lana, Lana. Oink. So, yeah, uh, they decided to make hard mode for Amnesia the Dark Descent, where no auto saves. The, if your sanity drops all the way to zero, you dead. You dead. Uh, the oil and the tinder box is like the amount of drops that show up during so the game. It's in 4x3 on the screenshots. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. it came out around that time, yeah. <laughs> Eight and, years uh, ago, man, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, basically you need tinder boxes to save. It'll use up like uh, four of them. And there's a whole lot less of them in the game right now. So you have to be very careful with your saves. There are no auto saves. Uh, the monsters are much deadlier. They will just knock you on your ass the moment they spot you if you're not careful because uh, they are faster now. And they deal more damage. So yeah. No, that, so pay, pay, so what what I'm hearing is you need to totally do this for uh, Spooptober. Yep. Blindfolded. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah, you know, you know what, Pedro? I will show up on Tuesday. I got nothing better to do with my life these days. I will fucking sit down, sit your ass down, and we'll play some Amnesia Hard Mode. How about that? Does that make you feel better? No, man. If I, I want... if, I, if, I, if I hold your hand and change your diaper a little. What you got to do what is does... you got you got to do like kids' nursery rhyme, like la 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 la. <laughs> Couldn't wake up in the morning. Uh, yeah, but Pedro, no, Jordan do that, and you can see if you can play it with an erection. Yeah. <laughs> no, and, and like every every time you die, I take off a piece of clothing. And then... oh, 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 hard <laughs> that, mode. That, that, that's, that's what we call hard mode, am I right? Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Coming up next, yeah. let's get into some Coming new games. Up. It's fucking Milkshake Simulator. It's Oligopoly Industrial Revolution. It is a single player strategy game, a little 4X ish, although there's not too Holy much. Holy shit. 24.99. 24.99. It is like not in early access, though. Do, do you think that has uh, anything to do with six user reviews? Probably. <laughs> okay. Um, no, it came, it came out on uh, the 5th. It is a game where you got to do uh, resource management uh, for you know oil, gas, supplies, all this shit. Uh, and you try to be a better capitalist than, uh, well, I guess the AI. See, this this kind of thing I, I feel like screams multiplayer because then you can be like, well, I, I, I'm I better at screwing over the fucking environment than you are, friendo. Oh, I'm so gonna you, prove you have it. like an intelligent person like building management and all that and the other team's just like hippies. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, yeah, that, that that's pretty much it. That's available now. It, it is a little pricey. It's like 30 bucks here in Canada, which is a little steep. Uh, but if it's well done, then, you know, hmm. hey, it's, man, it's a thing. These type and of games not, typically like have like a serious like niche, though. They're like, this is my crack. Oh, ab absolutely. Like, well, we're going to talk about another one of those sorts of games oh, yes. a bit later in the show. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're you're 100 percent right. Like if this is your jam, fuck, you're you're screwed. Um, Mark of the Ninja remastered. Oh, it hi, is Mark. now. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Um, you might remember when we reviewed the original Mark of the Ninja and we had problems with the whole sneaky mechanic versus running as default thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but, mm -hmm. uh, all of the game art and cinematics have been remastered at UHD. They add a new story mission and an additional character and the recommended GPU is a bit of an odd choice. They're, they're, they're saying for the under Linux, you want a Radeon 70, 6750M for the minimum system requirements, which is right. a bit of a strange choice. Um, but you I know, mean, like this nowadays this game isn't like too graphically demanding. Nowadays, it kind of makes sense for, especially if developers just want something that'll run out of the box on Linux. Yeah, you're probably good with the out of the box experience when it comes to like older Radeon um, graphics cards, even or a Radeon I, M. <laughs> I don't know, man. Two I, I, things really like, stick okay. out to me. Now, if you want to buy it wholesale, it's going to be nineteen ninety nine, but 
If you scroll down a little bit, look at that. Good guys. Uh, four ninety nine for an upgrade if you already have it, which basically yeah. everyone already has it if you game on Linux because it was one of the early things that showed up in the bundles. Mm-hmm. I'm really happy about that. And uh, if it works and everything's supposed to be in, they say 4K, that's a lie. They mean 3840 by 2160. Uh, better than 720, right? Question. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, 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 we'll have to pay five bucks and uh, definitely check that out. Maybe we'll throw some chairs at it next oh, week. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. So speaking, speaking, of crack, of, speaking of crack, yeah. <laughs> speaking of mainlining heroin, then... <laughs> Yeah, man, industrial strength heroin. Maybe that's what you're looking for. I know some people in the audience are like, oh my God, this is uh, terrifying. I'm trying to get everything. Come on, allow YouTube. Damn you, script block. It won't uh, allow You gotta it. accept the cookies. You gotta accept the cookies, Ven. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no cookie for you then. No cookie for you. All right. Well, anyway, anyways, uh, it's uh, uh, this. This is out uh, much uh, similar to uh, similar to that other game we were talking about. This allows uh, industrial parks to be built in your uh, city skylines. Games. Oil, America. oil, oil. Uh, I think you can set up uh, wind farms as well. Basic uh, farming um and yeah pro- and production oh, so if do you, you want hear to that farming simulator shots fired <laughs> bitches L- listen i'm 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 just gonna take this moment to bid farewell to F- mr fox dog empty <laughs> and here because we're not gonna see them for another couple of weeks while uh they're sinking their teeth into this yeah no uh, th- this is crack simulator expansion pack just you know in case some people weren't spending what enough the time act? in All it right, already help me, out. Help, help me out what the fuck synthetic dawn radio I, I I guess they're like different radio stations that you can set so that you have varying soundtracks. Okay. And, but I mean, if if you, if you just want the music pack, you can buy it on its own for three bucks. That's the thing. <laughs> Listen, you guys have been missing out. Come on, give me some dictator. I'll buy that. I mean, that, that's just Tropico, man. Let's yeah. be real. I I know, but I want it called Sim Dictator. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I can give you Sim Dick. That's the best I can do. <laughs> ah, okay, don't rain on my braid, bitch. <laughs> well, uh, this is Helium Rain. It's a, uh, it's a space game. It's uh, the way I saw it. Looking at the trailer, oh, it's Elite Dangerous Light meets Spreadsheets. Okay, oh, it's an O'Neill Cylinder, motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, so it's basically a little space sim ish with less of a focus on combat and more of a focus on the numbers basically you want to get your numbers as high as possible so in the eventuality that you do get into combat you're just going to curb everyone around you uh it currently goes for uh 1099 pounds over here so that's a what 14 15 bucks yeah 15 bucks uh what, so, one, one yeah. thing though it's what, one thing that really uh, stood out was um, I checked their forums and they're like, oh, yeah, for, for the for the new Linux release notes, we have a Linux section. And they're like, yeah, no, we're committed to making uh, Linux a first class uh, citizen for our uh, for our game. Mm-hmm. Um, they're 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 working with uh, they're they're pulling like new Unreal Engine stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're 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 essentially saying like, yeah, fucking try this version of Mesa from Git and see if this works. And they're they have uh, full Vulkan support as well. So um Good on them for it's that. Really you gotta good. Give them a shout out for that. They have a GitHub available with they couldn't release the entire source of the game because mm-hmm. some of the stuff with Unreal Engine 4, but like here's all the modules in Unreal Engine 4 that we did that you can go yoink yourself and take a look at how we stuck things together. So it's like good mm-hmm. good on you. Uh, and it, it it looks really good based on the trailer too. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's so, um, just uh, the 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 focus here seems to be on the spreadsheet and the management and the whatnots, and mm-hmm. that's the killer for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, and again, you gotta give them thumbs up for like actually going out of their way to like trying to create the better Linux experience, especially on an Unreal Engine where that is. Yeah. But we'll talk about that in the next section because that's a really good segue. Coming up next, lo- come listen to us bitch about UE4. Let's see, what's in the news this week? Well, I got a haircut. That's something. So, uh, Pedro, Pedro, yeah. t- t- time out. But this, this is where we uh, dance dance for a dinner. Be like, hey, look at us. Uh, we're cool. Oh, that's right. We need to dance first. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm really bad at chilling for myself. Have you been eating peas again? <laughs> uh, he's, 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 no, he's I'd not, be dead. 
L listen, <laughs> he's not full of country goodness and green penis, but all our Patreons are, and all the people who head on over to Patreon.com. And before that, they go to <laughs> LinuxGameCast.com. Click that support we button. We are master I marketers, up. man. I mean, Absol <laughs> abs absolutely. We you should could totally sell go ice to, the... to people that really fucking needed ice badly. <laughs> No, in but the, uh, no, no, we're, 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 we're selling ice to Inuits, but it's like meth. I don't know. Anyways, um, head on over to uh, linksgamecast.com. Click the support button. We've got all sorts of fascinating links for you to press and enter credit card numbers to support our nonsense. Or maybe just buy yourself something nice and also support our nonsense. You can also head on over to patreon.com slash linuxgamecast, where membership to our Patreon gets you such cool shit as Discord access. Uh, hey, we got a thing. Shit. Hey, buddy. We, we yes, we, we, we. We do. This is this is um, you, the Patreons get this a lot sooner than the rest of y'all. We're doing we're doing weekly rehabs, rehabs, recaps of the <laughs> of the. Uh, Have the you week been doing recaps? recaps. <laughs> no, listen, listen. We we tell you what we tell you what the haps are with the latest Doctor Who. Uh, we're, we're we're doing weekly recaps of uh, the series eleven Jodie Whittaker stuff. So that's going to be a. Fun we're going to be playing around with that. I want um, if you're down with it, uh, we're going to be opening it up to uh you can hop in our discord tomorrow night uh what time 9 p.m uh yeah yeah 9 p.m hop in uh chat with us let us know what you think and we're gonna open up the audio portion at the end of the show if you guys are like you're wrong or you're right come hang out with us and do that but uh we need to thank wait, wait. a beautiful party patron this week who increased their pledge because they're awesome yeah the not 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 so much a duck but it is darkwing they increased their patreon pledge and of course all of this stuff is impossible without your support. We, we're, we're giving you lots of fun stuff. Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday uh, Pedro is playing through some game on Proton. weird definition of fun, man. It, 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 it's fun for us in like a very sadistic sense. That's true. Um, okay, if you phrase like that. Yeah. It, it, so, someone is enjoying themselves, who that is and why they're doing it. I'll leave that for you to determine. But yeah, uh, Pedro, does, Pedro does Proton on uh, Tuesdays. Uh, mm -hmm. Thursdays... Uh, me and the assorted gaggle of chat realm people are uh, running through Borderlands the pre sequel. Um, I think what next week we're you got the new version of Jackbox that you're going to be doing. We on got Friday, Jackbox, right? uh, pa not Pedro, not P Man. Uh, ha! Uh, Jordan's got a little bit of free time, so we're <laughs> probably going to do maybe not this immediate coming up week, but definitely soon. We're going to do a marathon finish Portal Two. Something that we started like five years ago, and we're finally going to curb stomp that damn game. Uh, yeah. But hey, man, you guys have let us do this. You make it possible. And we get to do things like, uh, what did you see with the XKCD? I was able to make a video about setting up a fucking, um, control service under Linux. And there's going to be that one person, you know, who's thinking maybe about doing something like this, like a good job, you know, something we don't do, but they want to make an entertaining show and they don't want to spend, you know, four years digging things out of news groups on alt.seriously. You're trying to do this with Linux.net and they're going to be able to find stuff like that. We're going to, be able to help out and there'll be more at the merrier and it's going to be awesome. All right. Unreal Engine. Let's get into it. Oh yeah, so preview version Unreal Engine 421 is currently out. Preview, preview, preview. Yeah, there's a lot of previews right there. I'm a preview. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, they have uh, improved the Unreal Engine, as is to be expected. They have some animation updates. It now takes up uh, less, um, you know, resources to actually animate a character, so that's always good. Uh, skeletal animations are now uh, improved. They also updated the audio. Uh, nothing Linux-specific there. There are, though, a couple of uh, desktop updates which do mention Linux specifically, Ven. I no. Listen, man, I was too busy screwing around in Discord. Um, <laughs> check it out. Uh, there are some new features. Uh, one of the biggest ones, the Linux Crash Report client, now has a GUI. So make use of it, developers, please, pretty please. That'd be nice. And from 4.21 on, you can use the bundled uh, web media, MM Media plugin, to play back WebM, VPX 8 or 9 videos. So Nice. That's neat. And yeah, uh, the thing that uh, basically the people uh, in the rest of that particular forum thread were going like, yeah, where's the launcher for Linux? Yeah, I'm kind of with you on that one because I really want that launcher because I don't want to have to re-download 
the whole game every wait, time wait, there's wait, an update. Wait, you're making it sound too easy. You got to register for the forum, find the hidden yeah. thread, yeah, 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 yeah. then go yeah. to that and download the entire mm-hmm. engine. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I mean, to to be fair, that's the GOG method of distribution. So if the <laughs> GOG doesn't get around to fixing it, I don't think these guys ever will. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, uh, let's see. Up next, I got a thing. I did a thing. You exacerbated some some of the cool things we get to make for the beautiful bird people. Uh, so Assassin's Creed Project Stream. Look at the, look the at, look at it. I, I even put my hands down there so you could it's see the sexy. latency, and that's IF top. If anyone's wondering, I've had two people ask me that. It's like, it's high up top. And they're like, it doesn't run. And I was like, you're pseudo. It's the only way you can do it. So you're wondering, how does it work? This is like direct video. This is about as good as it's going to get because I captured it lossless. It was like a 15 gig file for 20 minutes. Um, it does work surprisingly well. You know, I genuinely just plugged in the x controller. Didn't work out of the box with the Steam controller. Jordan, you pointed out, you're like, you could probably get it with the SK. And I was like, I don't care that much. Plugged in the x controller. And went to town. Do not try this particular game with your keyboard and gerbil because that's going to break the fucking illusion, man. You're like, oh, yeah, no, uh, I'm not playing this natively. And uh, I did run into, when I got back to the house today, I finally had my connection eat shit. And I was curious. I was like, I, I didn't want to try to introduce that. It happened naturally. And man, it eats shit hard. You get like a little pop up window in the bottom right hand corner that was like, uh, good luck, fucko. Have fun with that. I mean, it goes like nasty, blurry. So uh, I know this is an early beta and all that, but if you're going to be playing anything, well, you're only going to be playing this. Uh, save early, save often. Uh, bandwidth wise, you can see, man, it's using about 21, 20 to 24, somewhere in there, megabits down upload. About 130, 150K uh, graphically. It looks like you're playing a really good stream of a video game. That That's what it looks like. Like if you're watching, you know, uh, one of our live streams at 1080p 60, which we'll eventually get around to, we just need more bandwidth. Um, and one thing I've learned, here, here's like the legitimate, the one thing I was like, really, is I even asked some people, and meet space. I was like, so yeah, I got this project stream thing and it's pretty cool. I'm playing Assassin's Creed. I just instant get an opinion about the game. I, I, I give zero fucks about the game. None. But everyone has an opinion on this damn game. It's brand I, new. Of course they did. It's fucking, it's Skyrim. It's the XP system. They haven't done anything original in this since like, I don't know, the 90s, man. But I... I guess it's the type of... If you got a lot of time that you need to kill, this is a thing. But let's talk about the future. How do... I mean, it's not there yet. I mean, it's clearly doing some predictive stuff with movement. And if you think like Mad Max or Skyrim or something like that, where, you know, when you move even on your native copy, it takes a minute for that momentum to build. Really covers up a lot of shit. You can tell that Googs is. It's like, how do, do you need to plug it or anything? No, you don't. It is just streaming fucking video it needs to be at higher resolution it'll look better um but sometimes you run into that especially with a keyboard and mouse because you're fucking around a lot more than it's uh than with a controller but is this the future man 10 years from now i hope not i'm sure lots of publishers would love this to be the future especially guys like ea but um <laughs> We'll, we'll 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 see I, I, again. Like like you like you said, Ven, it's very very connection dependent. And if your connection is at all unreliable, that this this essentially becomes a non-starter. Experience. What's it like? Have you played like a hardwired Steam Link really close to that? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Mm. Yep. I mean, I've I haven't used it with the Link. I've done it with the uh, in-home streaming stuff, and it's reasonably yeah. performant. Uh, but that's also, you that's also over a local gigabit. Right. You you would not be playing this with uh, first-person shooters or probably not racing games. But then again, I mean, what's this? This thing hasn't even been out a week, so I, I'll keep everyone updated. Strider's also got it. Like I said, he just burst my bubble with that. I'm like, ugh. So, <laughs> burst your lip bubble. I know. Okay, let's le, get into something le, a bit more bouble. native. All right. Uh, Hazelnut Bastille, speaking of French people. Um, they have a Linux build available. It is kind of Zelda-ish. You have a lot of more options um, control-wise uh, mm-hmm. 
I think you get like four weapon slots than say something like a link to the past. Although I will say that movement in there reminds me a lot of the 3DO Zelda in terms of responsiveness. But this <laughs> is this is a fairly early build though. And if you download the if you download the zip, which you know it is it is a zip, so you got a chmod dot uh, plus x that. Um, yep. Yeah, there 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 is a PDF in there that is basically like a massive solic solicitation for feedback. So they they are looking to improve the game. Um, they're willing to take your, uh, take your, resp your responses, factor them back into the product. Um, but yeah, other than that, it basically plays like Zelda. Yeah, no, I do have some feedback. I, uh, started the game. It's like, wait, what's the attack button? Oh, that needs work. Yeah, no, those default bindings are not, uh, Giant they're not kosher, <laughs> but Hey, uh, at least they let you rebind it and it is a unity game. So yeah, it would be really bad if they didn't. <laughs> Good old it, Unity 2D. You, I mean, I, I'd be more impressed if it was CryEngine. But... <laughs> I'd be more impressed if it was Godot. Yeah, <laughs> Godot would be nice. It needs VR. Speaking, it needs VR. Speaking, speaking of which, Godot Wild Jam number two is um is a thing. Uh, it is starting uh, next year. We are it, master marketers. It, it, we, it's we, a we, thing. we we are. It definitely uh, exists. It, it, it it's it started already. Um. Uh, it ends next Sunday. Uh, you got to make a game with Godot 3.0 or 3.1. They actually prefer you to use 3.1 because this is also sort of like a big test of 3.1. They want a bunch of real world test cases to solicit feedback and, you know, improve the engine, which for Godot is a good thing. You should so totally support them. The theme is hidden within. So uh, if you have a game about things being hidden in other things. Hey, man, we can play Junkie Spaceman. Maybe maybe some maybe <laughs> someone the wants one to entry. <laughs> maybe someone wants to make uh, Godot find the pickle that's hidden within. Hey, it'll be a great uh, reason or uh, excuse to test out Vulcan skills. And oh wait, no, no not they, yet. They're, they're not mm -hmm. not yet. But they they, they did they did say. Uh, I know. I'm weekend. making a joke. <laughs> no humor is allowed in Linux Gamecast. We, this we, is a we serious need, we need podcast. We need airplane things for, for Jordan sometimes. People. Like, hey, making joke. <laughs> Like, wait, wait a minute, what drunk? Anyway, uh, Vulcan, <laughs> DXVK, baby. Oh, yes, ah. DXVK has been, well, this is already old news because they already have version uh, not 90 out. But, uh, yeah, no, this one comes as a, a separate project. It's not uh, DXVK itself, but it is something that will allow people to share their DXVK uh, shader caches. Basically, you build a cache for a game on your end, Yes, you will need to have Java version 8 or higher. Uh, Java. And Java. I refuse to say it any other way. Uh, Java? <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's exactly what it says. It's uh, you share your uh, cache with everyone else so that other people don't have to wait for two or three minutes for their GPU to compile all the shaders and do everything else. And... Yes, uh, there's the issue of security. It's like, oh, those are GPU uh, lines of code that your GPU is just going to run regardless. So my first thought was, oh, this is a good thing. I guess it's a good thing that the um, the crypto mining craze has died down because this would be prime target for exploitation and to get access to other people's True. GPUs. Yeah, true, true. But um, one one thing I was happy to see is that the developer did acknowledge that yeah, you know, I'd probably pulling GPU code from other people's computer and running that mm -hmm. is not the smartest idea. <laughs> so they're trying to create some sort of uh, verification system where only um, only validated users who have been proven to push out non virus filled. Uh, G, D, uh, DirectX, uh, or rather DXVK. Well, I mean, they got uh, a decent caches. enough system. I mean, you, you know, you get yeah. your public GPG. Send that yep. out. They even have a script if you don't even want to bother with that. The, the, so. They do, but it, you know, good on the developer for like designing this with that in mind from Genesis. Yeah. Because no, man, you should just upload it to a Dropbox and no, put it on Mega yeah. Upload. Is that still a thing? I, Maybe. You know, listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mail you a flash drive with all of my uh, state uh, state caches. <laughs> do it, and you, you just plug it into your computer and it'll, it'll do be it. fine. Do it. Fill it with peas. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Well, that, that, that's gonna that's what that's gonna be like instead of the uh, instead of like the phone packing peanuts, it's just gonna be peas. I want tar.p. Tar.pz. 
Anyway. Easy peasy. All right. <laughs> so it's time to t- file some TPS reports. This is uh, the speaking of the Godot, this is uh, from the High Godot quality engine. HUB. Two mm-hmm. assets. Yeah, um, it's a third-person shooter demo with high-quality assets and lighting. Um, at the moment, it, I mean, it looks good, pretty good based on the screenshots. At the moment, though, if you want to actually play this, uh, you're going to have to uh, download the project and build it from source. I tried, and there was some... Sh- I, I got some shader code errors uh, when I when I actually tried to build the game. Uh, I, and uh, believe it or not, it's actually really easy to get this up and running because Godot uh, Nightly has app images you can just download and run. So um, mm-hmm. I, I, I will say, though, it takes about 20 minutes or so for everything to get sorted, for the project to get imported and everything to get built, even though it failed. It's still I mean, it, it was pretty easy to get set up. Uh, yeah. But what's currently on master is a wee Borky. I checked back today. They didn't do any more commits. So may, maybe it was just the bad version of uh, Godot that I was using some unstable nightly. Dude, but, this looks good. I mean, listen, yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. I'm not poo-pooing on anyone's project, but this is the first time I've seen some high-quality H2O art assets like dropped in Godot, and I'm like, "Fuck, it can do that!" Yeah, no, well, that it looks. That's... It basically looks like a real Legend Four. That looks good. <laughs> well, and and that, and that was the thing too. Like they were saying, like um, in between Godot two and three, they wanted to make Godot a first-class citizen for making 3D games, and it yeah. looks if here so here here's the real question though how how hard is it to actually replicate something like this mm-hmm. if you were if you were going to start from scratch um how difficult would it be to get something like this running in Godot? i don't know how really... much better would it run with vulcan <laughs> uh, you, you, you know you know what Vul- vulcan doesn't make good performance you still need to write good vulcan code <laughs> You, you you listen. There is more potential to fuck it up in Vulcan than there is in OpenGL. I'm just Hard gonna mode, put man. that out there. Hard mode. Yeah, yeah. We've seen all the games that come out with Vulcan support that tend to hard nope anyone's box. <laughs> yeah. Oh look, mm-hmm. it's uh, it's uh, Billy from uh, the King of Kong. He's in the recommended videos. <laughs> but yeah, no. If Godot can look like that, I need more people to start using it and start making games. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what that game. Maybe maybe you should check out the Wild Jam. Hey man, uh, Vulcan uh, is definitely not Vulcan. Jesus, Vin, get off of it. Um, <laughs> go eat your pizza. Seriously, man. what uh, the fuck, man? Godot, Godot's definitely got a very very positive, like in a good way, user base and fan base. Because I'll see that show up in threads. They're like, hey man, have you considered you know using Godot instead of Unity or something that's completely open source and the best thing about Godot is you can say that with a straight face to a developer. I'm like, no, you can actually make games with that. And now we have like, hey, look at this. You can do this. And I'm like, oh. And I understand people wanting to use Unity because, hey, that's a good stepping block to get into industry. It's like, hey, man, I at least know how to do this. But we would like to see real open source solutions. And it, yes. I, I, don't, I don't know. To me, it's always fun because I, when I, whenever I go to a con or something, I like to check out the, the indie game section and just talk to the developers. And it's like, what, what are you building this on? Good Joe. Oh, good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. <laughs> All right. We're, we're, we're on the same page here then. Good, good job. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, de- definitely check that out. Maybe use it as a base for your own game. Fuck around with it. The source is fully available. Check it out at GitHub. Not sponsored by Microsoft. All so of this available in our show notes. So check and those out. And there's a game jam with it. So submit your experiment. And yeah, doodly you, doodly. You, you, you can pump action captain it and just submit that game for the fucking. <laughs> Jesus, come on. How much longer do you want to stretch this out? Longer. All coming the up. Way. All the way. Stretch it like Pedro's butthole. Coming up next, we're going to review a kid's game. It's going to be happy, happy, happy. begins now this is where we take your game we uh rate it on a scale of um one to four chairs for the does it launch performance graphics and controls then we maybe talk about how we feel about the game whether we enjoyed it and rate that on a scale from one to four chairs this week we're taking a look at my brother rabbit by artifacts Monday on the spark casual engine you can pick it up for about 15 bucks why are we doing another horror game <laughs> because it's spooptober man it's it's halloween it's that time of year it's it, it's um what was it? it's 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 uh christmas in base eight i don't know um in this magnificent land of make-believe a cute little rabbit wants to nurse his ill friend of the flower back to health so any spooky. way he can look at the spooky he must balloon. Use the- 
I mean, those butterflies <laughs> terrify the fuck out of me. He must use his wits to decipher puzzles inspired by classic point and clicks, uncover hidden objects, and play many games to continue their adventure. Artifacts Monday was nice enough to send us some keys for this, so we're taking a look at it now. But first, how did it work on Ubuntu? The most horrifying of operating. It's not really. Um, 1804 LTS, 1700, 980 powered. Hey, man, look at it. It's brilliant. It launches. No issues. Got that covered. Performance at 1080p, 3840 by 2160. Solid 60. No issues. Graphics. Check it out, man. I mean, it looks nice. I mean, it's really nice hand drawn business with, you know, kind of that side of odd. You're like, there's some weird shit in here, too. So it's, it's not all like happy sunshine stuff. However, I'm going to dig in a little bit on controls because this is something you can fire up in big picture and go, why the fuck doesn't my Steam controller work with this game? And the game will look at you and go, booga booga. Ooh. So tell you spooky. To, tell you to go fuck yourself because it don't work. And that kind of irritated me. You really have to uh, break out the gerbil if you want to play this at any distance other than directly in front of your computer. So, yeah, man. That's the thing. I could dig it. I'd give it a solid three. Yeah, on uh, Fedora 28, 64-bit with the GTX 1080 Ti and the i7-6700K, it launches, it runs at 60 FPS at, well, the one resolution it supports. <laughs> um, speaking of which, in graphics, yeah, no options. You get full screen or you get no full screen. Um, I think the art was, well, I thought it was done in 720p. Pedro corrected me earlier today. Full screen it's actually or, done in or full scream? Full scream? <laughs> Oh, man. Screams of delight. Um, yeah. So uh, apparently the art was done in 900p, which honestly, when you stretch it out to 31, 30, 40 by 2160, doesn't look that great. You definitely see, it seems a little blocky when it's stretched out like that. But it is what it is. Control wise, yeah, you click shit. I don't know why you'd want to play this with the controller, Ven. You're a very, very strange individual. I'll give it four chairs. Yeah, and over here on Solus, it launches, it performs at 60, regardless if you're playing full screen or in that really odd 1600 by 900 window. Uh, hey it's, man, we, uh, we've just learned that Artifacts Monday's got some fucked up monitors, that's what. So. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they got but, some yeah. old Dells is what they got. <laughs> and apparently the resolution switching in those monitors is broken because there's not much in the way of setting resolution in this game. So yeah, it... And the controls, well, it would be very hard to screw up uh, left-click for action, right-click for cancel. Life so, finds a way. Yeah. <laughs> Four chairs on that. All right. How about fun? Did you enjoy clicking around, driving yourself insane, trying to find that last fucking Look at thing? This. Look at this game. This is a kaleidoscope of horrors. Look at the terrifying colors. Um, Hey. It's been a minute since we looked at something from Artifacts Monday since, uh, we're being honest, a lot of the games, they look a wee bit similar. My Brother Rabbit, on the other hand, does look a little bit different. Now, it's still a hidden object joint, so don't get too crazy with this. And disclaimer, if I had to find Waldo, that motherfucker would have starved to death by now. I'm not good at these types of things, because it's a point and click. Mix objects, you know, cryptic clues, basically you have this game. Did I mention I tend to overthink things? Because I did. We talked about that in the pre-pre-super shows. And go back and listen to that, beautiful patrons. Because I wasted an embarrassing amount of time trying to sort a puzzle. Because at no point did I ever think that it crossed my simple little reptile brain that it could be that obvious. Turned out it was 100%. And I'm going to agree with future Jordan about things blending in just a little too much at times. But that's kind of part of the genre, I guess. That's the thing. But at the end of the day, it's hidden objects. So eventually resorted to my battle-tested click grid attack. Flawless victory on that. Um, and hey, I know I'm an adult technically, but I was doing that same shit as a child because I come from the school of getting shit done and fuck the journey. I, I don't do side quests, so... Just, just beating the game is my end goal still. It's a really well done game. Boo, spooky. Fuck off. Um, and you're, If you're stuck with like your own larva, and you have one of those, or like you're a Windows user, and you need something to help like develop basic motor skills and control and refinement hand, like hand that. Hand-eye coordination. Yeah, Windows user. Mm -hmm. um, or just prob problem-solving skills. My brother Rabot, Rabot, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, th <laughs> it's going to get the job done. It is currently priced. At, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, it's $14.99. That does sound high for point and click, but 
It is extremely well done. It is pretty to look at if you like horrifying death rabbits. So, solid three for the fun. I really... Now I want this game to star Rabot. Damn it, Ven. <laughs> like, what, what, Artifacts Monday, please make that game next. I, 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 I demand that you do that. Yeah, so here's, here's the thing. I, I, I suffer from a, a litany of, you know, mental disabilities. I mean, look, look, look at that. <laughs> didn't that scene with, like, the syringe? And Didn't that look like it was going to get dark? Oh, yeah, I was like... Now, if you close your eyes soon, you won't feel anything. No, sh- sh- no screams, only dreams. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm diagnosed with a litany of uh, mental disorders, and I also suffer from that thing where you're looking for your house keys and check everywhere, and you just can't find them, and it's driving you insane. You spent 45 minutes, and you're late for whatever you're doing, and then you realize, shit, these were in my pocket the entire time, weren't they? So, I am mentally ill-equipped to deal with hidden object puzzle games. My brain is not wired for that. That said, um, this is actually pretty decent. There there are a couple moments where it's just like, no, I'm not going to be defeated by a game for children. I'm, uh, no. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm far too old for this to beat me. And this game looked uh, you dead in the eye and said, hold my beer. Pretty much, yeah. There, like, here, 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 here's the thing. This game has an aesthetic, and it's it's very clearly thought out. But everything looks like a fucking watercolor painting, which means that shit just blends in. And like Pedro and I were talking about this in the pre-pre super shows, and there's one of the puzzles where it's like, no, no, that I would not have found that if I weren't just clicking errantly because that is the exact same color as the thing it was hiding in front of, and there's no outline. Bullshit. 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 <laughs> Um, yeah, the, that said, the, the game does a decent job of like telling you, Hey, this is, this is a thing that you're probably going to have to collect later. So remember where this thing is. Cause you're going to be looking for it in about 20 minutes or 40 minutes, depending on how long it takes you to find the other shit you're looking for. Um, there, I do have a minor gripe with the, uh, the gameplay though. Um, when you, when you adopt, when you inevitably adopt the click grid strat, because you know, fuck, um, <laughs> The, the 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 switch area button at like the at the at the bottom left and right corners of the screen is a little sensitive at times and sometimes you accidentally hit it while you're hunting for things and you switch back and forth and that gets a little annoying also fuck this bear how am i supposed to think to like look under his goddamn hat <laughs> like uh, <laughs> fuck that noise yeah and i clicked on him a few times it didn't occur to me to click on the hat portion but anyways um yeah that i mean it, it's well it's well done um for 15 bucks if you give this to like a child say they will be occupied for several days as what, they're... what do you think about like the item combining mechanic that's one of the extra like fuck you old man then because that reminds was... me of like phantasmagoria like oh it man was... It was a little weird at first, but you do get used to it once you realize okay yeah this this is a part of the game and there, there's like things where it's like Oh no, this is clearly some piece of information that I'm going to need to solve another puzzle. There's actually a couple of times too where like you can just kind of brute force some of the puzzles before you're actually given the end. There there there, there there's this one thing where like you have to use some combination of arms to complete a circuit. And I just brute forced it and got all the items that it gives you and then I solved another puzzle and it's like, "Oh, this is the answer key for that other thing I just kind of figured out by myself." <laughs> Anyways, it's all right. Um, it is it is what it is, and I can't really fault it for it. I'll give it two chairs. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, well, for me, it, the one thing <laughs> I came to the realization that it's always the children-oriented games that get things right. You know, what I keep harping on about how puzzle games, the best thing that they can do is give you all the tools and just watch you fuck up over and over and over again. And, well, here it is. In this game, you're not even given the chance to attempt to resolve a puzzle until you have everything that you need. It's, um... You know, actually finding the stuff that you need, and that is where the meat of the game is, because that's what Artifacts Mundi does, and it's the hidden object games. They just, uh... They just give you... It's like, okay, you need to find these things, now go out into the three or four areas that you can uh, explore, and you will find those things. And, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, that's what Artifacts Mundi does, and that's 
what you can find in this game. It's uh, the art is very good, and like Jordan already mentioned, uh, it makes. Do you think there's uh, like the... a position at Artifacts as like lead shit hider? <laughs> oh, possibly. I'm, no. Oh, I'm sure there is like some fucking autistic guy they hired. There's just like, listen, man, I know you love hiding shit, so I got a job for you. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's uh, the way that the art and everything else, because the art is beautiful and everything looks like it fits right in, which, yeah, like Jordan was saying, it makes everything very hard to find. Uh, and the, um, the, the actual puzzles themselves, as a 30-something-year-old myself, they're very easy and the sense of accomplishment is a bit lacking, but hey, there's a story there, so that's what I found myself clinging on to. I don't know, so, man. Yeah, like three chairs. <laughs> one of my problems with this is like the same reason as watching Zootopia, just waiting for the fox to eat the rabbit. It's like, <laughs> like this rabbit's like all concerned about the plant. I was like, come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. <laughs> well, yeah, the yeah, plan yeah. here is the projection of like the uh, rabbit owners in the real world. No, Pedro, you're seeing uh, it's his sister. projection of a twisted individual. It's like, come on, get. <laughs> No, no, see, see, that's the thing. You, you likened it to pa Phantasmagoria. This is like the fucking unofficial Phantasmagoria 3. It's the, it's the, fir it's the killer from the first Phantasmagoria coming back for it's revenge. It's Frog Fractions, the revenge, man. You still yeah. know it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, it's, it's, it's like the game from fucking last week. It's like, I'm waiting for the dark turn. Where's, where is it? <laughs> I've, I've been trained to expect this now. Hey, All man, right. it's spooked over that we're, we're only doing kids' games because they're horrifying. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, dude. Oh, we should totally do Freddy Fish next week. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Coming, coming up next, we got one piece of hate mail, and then we're out. Yeah. Yes. It's the end yes. of the show, and uh, yes. it's a, probably it a good thing because we're going down a very, very dangerous we're, road. We're, 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 go, we're going road. down on penis? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Topical. <laughs> so if you'd like to let us know about which other roads we can go down, which may or may not involve, I don't know, the ass, uh, <laughs> go to linkscapecast.com, hit the contact button, and fill out the forum. Make sure to pick LGC Weekly from the well, little choosy right. box. I gotta fix oh. that. Uh, LGC has no penis, confirmed. <laughs> no penis. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you can also let us know about uh, how come... We've been doing the show for this long, and the search box returns not for penis. <laughs> so, this week we have the one bit of uh, hey, hate man, mail. I also want to say, like, you know, if you're a game developer, you'd be like, hey, man, I'd like oh, to talk yes. to you about my game. And uh, we, we can make that happen. Call mm -hmm. me girlfriend. All right. Yes. Okay, so Jay uh, has uh, some Windows issues, uh, well, in the sense that he's stuck Man, with Man, anybody Windows. running Windows has issues. Um. <laughs> yeah, so uh, his Linux SSD died, and now he's stuck with the Windows one until the new SSD arrives and he needs to hit on someone. So he says, Steam is not to be compared with Google's Project Stream. One is a would-be subscription service, and the other is a digital store and management platform picking at the nits games on steam can be played without a monthly subscription some of them even if the only game you play was purchased 10 years ago i wish i had ven's hair and jordan's beard and hey there pillar uh we should play shadow of the fucking shit someday i sure if you tell me what the fuck that is uh that's all for now i'm splitting p.s you should start the open indiana game cast please yes splitting penis <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Bifurcation. <laughs> That's it's. Yeah. Hey, it's someone's fetish. Uh, um. So so here here here's here's the thing about Project Stream in Steam. There is nothing that would stop Valve from opening up a game streaming subscription service. They definitely have the infrastructure mm -hmm. to do so. They have the. T they have enough capable technologists in, at their disposal if they can wrangle them and like get them to focus for maybe a year and <laughs> come out with something. Um, but here, it, but here, here, here's here's the thing: they're, 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 the two aren't mutually exclusive. They can they can exist in parallel. They can exist with some crossover functionality. There may be some case where you buy. It, there may be something where you like buy a game on Steam and then you're able to stream it if you don't have the hardware that can. Well, like, even run if you game. have that with Steam, I mean, you're just getting a license to do it. They can revoke that at any time they fucking feel like it until yep. you eat a bag of dicks. 
Ab- abs- yeah. Absolutely. Oh, there's no such Even thing as owning Even if you bought it anymore. 10 years ago. I mean, that it's like when some people's like, I need GOG for my downloadable copy, which is a very valid thing. Mm-hmm. They also need GOG so they can put the other games on the Pirate Bay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's, you know, with Steam, you still have the chance, at least with the Proton games, say you're scared that that game might disappear or that you might get your Steam account banned, you can download all your games and back them up and then just crack them. Here's the thing. I don't know. I mean, it's going to go to streaming. I mean, the reason Steam won is because it's convenient. It's not the best system in the world, not by a long shot. Mm -hmm. But here's the problem with streaming. By the time that gets there, we're going to see, because everyone wants to have their own distribution platform now. You know, mm-hmm. Blizzard's like, we're doing our own thing. And all these are like, we don't want to pay the Steam tax. And then we're going to have the same thing that we currently have to an extent. It's just going to be worse with like streaming with just content right now. Because now I have Netflix, I have Amazon Prime, and I guess what, I, what, I have what, Google. What, whatever, whatever Disney's going to fucking... Well, go- and, and, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and then exactly. that's like, this, this sort of balkanization of content is... Essentially, what what a lot of uh, these big stakeholders want, because then they can CBS. I have a, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the, you, it's 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 going to be like fucking cable TV again. I, I brought this up in the pre pre super shows. And, oh, you're gonna, if you want to play RPGs, you got to pay the package that comes with the sports games and the first person shooters and all this other mm-hmm. shit you don't want. Um, ev- ev- eventually, but I don't eventually think it's, it's going to be necessarily like that because that would be like the one combining package. That would be kind of what Steam is now. Get all your games. Mm-hmm. All in one place. I think what's going to happen is this developer's going to have their own half jack service. This developer's going to have their thing. Google's going to, and you're going to see like the whole thing. Like, used to be able to get almost everything on Netflix because yep. none of the companies thought it's like, eh, this will never take off. And it did. Now they're like, oh shit, we're going to do our own things, not give it to Netflix. Netflix saw that shit coming. We're going to start making our own stuff. Um, uh, give us a mulligan on that, Kevin Spacey. So <laughs> that happened. Like all the Marvel stuff, Daredevil and all that, soon as soon as those rights run out, they're going to go back. And it, Discord probably wants to get in on this game. Google can pull it off, but Google could also kill it tomorrow and everyone be like, yep, Goog's going to Goog's. Amazon's probably going to jump into this game. Yeah, Amazon well, and well, Twitch. But it's only well, going to work. I Hear, hear me out, though. Mm-hmm. Only going to work if it's all in one place, because this is this is a big ask. Because as I talked about during the show, stable bandwidth. I don't care where the fuck you live, is not a guaranteed thing. No. Even if you're on the fibers, man. Thoughts? Uh, I, 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 absolutely. And like uh, to to Pedro's point about Amazon, yeah, it looks. It actually kind of looks like they're angling towards that with Lumberyard, especially because mm-hmm. they're 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 focusing a lot about uh, on like offloading stuff to Amazon because they have that wonderful, yeah. wonderful, awful thing called Amazon Web Services that lets you give them stupid amounts of money for your computers. Here's something that hopefully here's what will blow me away. If you know load times, all right. Here's a question I meant to ask you that guys this. Do you honestly think that Assassin's Creed's streaming from a Windows box? It, That's at least excellent. a Windows client. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You think that? Well, so yeah. it, why? I, so probably, probably what it is is they a got VM a big. That yeah, it's, a, it's 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 a, yeah, it's a it's a big old VM. Mm-hmm. Uh, or yeah, it's it's a VM with like dedicated pass through to like an NVIDIA Enterprise GPU or whatever. And they're they're partitioning that out, and that's what it's streaming from. But all yeah. that other infrastructure is running under Linux because let's be fucking real. That's right. What you do. Here's another thing, though. Here's what I would like to see. This is how you sell. This is how you sell people on it. Listen to me, Google. Call me. You let me play UHD shit that I couldn't play and make it look that good. Because right now it looks like upscaled 720p, and it's really only viable on like a 1080p monitor. You kick that up to UHD. Let me play stuff that would be prohibitively expensive, like would require a 2080 Ti or something like that. But you know, let me play it for I don't know, ten bucks a month. Then maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it, 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 if. It, it, if uh, uh, streaming is the way to go, then yes, we need that subscription model as much as it pains me to admit it. Uh, but because if publishers get their way, we're going to be paying full thri- uh, AAA price for a streaming game. 
I don't think we're going to get there anytime soon, though. I was just going to no. say that game stream game streaming would be really actually really interesting for like game demos, right? Like, oh hey, yeah. just play this game right now and see if you want to buy. Oh, it. you summer child, demos don't exist anymore. You like I said, it would be access, like, 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 like I said, it would be interesting. I would oh, like that to happen. They could I, give I, you like I, thirty I'm minutes. Fully aware. Play the game. I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm fully aware that shit's not going to happen. But a man can dream. Hey man, listen, you a can play the demo dream. if you get it's DLC. You just get the DLC demo, and mm -hmm. you, you can <laughs> like pretend it's like the good old days. Ladies and gentlemen, I think on that bombshell, one hundred percent. Ah, let's cue the music. You can always find us around 9.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time. We're hanging out, doing the thing, uh, spitting mad fire and pretending we know what the hell we're talking about. We don't. Um, get old of me, Adventstone, on Twitter. No longer G+, because that's uh, died in the fire. We got a Mastodon that I completely forgot to tell about. Thank you, Civic. If you have any problems, contact Civic. Uh, Mast.LinuxGameCast.com. It's thing. Speaking of masts and penis, if you want to find my shit posting. Uh, you can find it at the Burning Fool on Twitter and plus Jordan Swung and Google Plus for the whatever until January when they shut that shit down. Uh, it was ten months, so it's July, something like that. Uh, in any case, I am still Peter Mateos or plus Peter Mateos on Google Plus, but it, yeah, no, I'm just I let I don't like Twitter, but it, I think it's the least awful alternative until I figure out what the hell a Mastodon is. So at at an accounted four on Twitter, just do that. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's a listen, giant stampy thing. We, we can save time. I think the only thing that we learned is both Jordan and myself are just like thinking of ways to get peas into Pedro. I'm I'm thinking of ways to get penis into Pedro. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm thinking about sure rolling it... some credits. How about that, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> penis. I'm, I'm pretty sure someone already sang a song about that. Peas in a I want to put no. my Pedris and pe Pedris and Pedro. <laughs> Pedris and Pedro. <laughs> Pedro. Pedro. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Pedris and the Pedro. <laughs> Pedro's and the Pedro's. <laughs> I want to thank all you so, beautiful so. psychopaths for making this nightmare train possible. All six fuck mothering years of it. <laughs> The lion, the Pedrus, and the Pedro. You, <laughs> you people, put the Pedrus in the Pedro. <laughs> Pedrus. <in> the... <laughs> it's, like, it's like putting the spring in Springfield. <laughs> RTX ain't got shit on Pedrus and the Pedro. Pedr Pedrus on, Pedrus off. Enable, Pedrus enable, baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey man, didn't Google Google killed Oruktu or whatever the hell that was? It was massive in Brazil too. Gaty. Uh, what? <laughs> the other social had... network that they nerfed. Uh, oh, that was Orcut. Orcut, Aruko, yeah, whatever the yeah. fuck it was. Or, or, Orcut, yeah. Orcuts. Yeah. It or... was like High Five, but uh, especially did, for Brazil. <laughs> did Google also run Diaspora, or am I thinking of something else? That's something else. Yeah. Uh, they run Google Wave. <laughs> well, Google Wave originally then turned into Google Plus. Like, yeah. that was... <laughs> Hail Santa. Uh, <laughs> it's spoopy! Five dudes. <laughs>